I really think that. <laughs> so we will show you today how to kill the short balls. I'm just having a little bit uh, sort of an argument with Christian. What do you say? I think I'm already enough aggressive on the balls that I get. Uh, okay, I still think some balls, maybe inside the court or even there are neutral balls towards baseline, you can get more into the into the ball. And some short balls, I don't feel that you're maybe quick enough to get to that position. What do you think? Do you think you're okay? Yeah, I think I'm already. Do you want to show me? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. Okay. So I'll give you the exercise, okay? So we will show you today exercise for approach shots and how to kill the short balls. So I will talk about five different elements regarding the short balls and what, what is very important uh, to know in order to be able to hit the best possible shots on these balls. Uh, number one, you need to be always expecting the short ball. So at any moment when you're playing, you need to be in such a position on your toes that you are almost expected to get a short ball on any shot. In that way you will be more ready to go for the short ball. And if you get a deep ball, it's going to be much easier to go back. Right? If I'm here expecting I can go easy back. But if it's a short ball there, much better to go forward. Number two is definitely the split step. Right? That will be... Split step will enable us to explode and to go there quickly. Number three, that will be actually reading the ball and recognizing when the ball is short or not. And for that, we will do the drill with Christian with uh, three sections in the court. It's very good to practice reading the ball. Number four, it's actually getting to that ball as quickly as you can so that you can give yourself some time to prepare for the swing. And number five is actually choosing the right stance when approaching the short ball and we will talk about two different stances based on the height of the ball and we will do the exercise for this so as you can see here on the other side we divided the court in three areas and we will have area one area two and area three right so from the shortest to the deepest ball and christian's goal you need to call the numbers one two or three based on my shot and he needs to do it before my ball goes to his side. So when I feed him the ball, before it goes to his side, he needs to call the number. So it's even way before the ball bounces. Because once the ball bounces, then it's too late. You need to be prepared earlier. So this is one of the keys for the short balls. You need to get there as fast as you can. And in order to do that, you need to see the ball earlier. So that's what we're gonna practice. Christian uh, reading the ball earlier and getting in the right position on time. Okay? Okay. Let's do it. One. Two. Two. As you've seen in the exercise for the three sections of the court with the different balls, what Christian did is uh, every time he had a deep ball, he had to move back a little bit and actually hit that ball, you know, obviously a little bit higher contact point. 
but he was not going for a big shot for a winner. He just hit a heavy forehand and, you know, trying to stay in the rally, maybe taking the charge, but not going for too much. Uh, on the other hand, when he had uh, the balls at the section two and one, he was definitely more aggressive and he was trying to take charge. And that was a very good exercise from him and good job, Christian, for that. That tour, no? On the line. Actually, actually, you're not that bad at, at this. Oh, so, I know. I told you. Yeah, but I think I think uh, you still need to work on this, right? Yeah. And good exercise. What Maybe about? I try in the match more often. Yeah, a little bit more often when you. I mean, yeah. not call the numbers in the matches, yeah, but you know, try to read it and then you know use this because I think you have a good anticipation. So mm -hmm. get there and then just rip that ball. All right. Yeah. Good practice today, man. Yeah, thank you. So, thanks guys for watching this video. We really hope it was helpful and that you enjoyed it. Actually, I'm pretty sure you enjoyed it because we have Christian. He's our superstar. And maybe you saw that video for the kick serve. He was amazing there. So, definitely, if you like it, you share this video. If you like it, and please subscribe because we have the star here and we're gonna have more and more videos and we're gonna show you more different exercises and we're gonna get more into the techniques so I will leave it for Christian to finish this yeah subscribe for more videos bye <laughs> <laughs>